Yeah. All right, so you know what? Some young people may scoff at stocks, older people as well, but if this isn't proof that millennials, everyone should start looking into this market, I don't know what is. My guest is an investor who put himself through university from selling stocks, David Rose. Good Morning. night in Jamaica. Yes, how are you? I'm well, I'm well. I'm very thankful for the opportunity to be here, you yeah. know, to bring the message forward. Yeah. Uh, many of my colleagues, you know, are interested in themselves and actually more interested because of hearing my story. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about your story in a bit. You're at the university. First of all, what got you interested in stocks? What piqued your interest in the first place? Well, I'd always heard about stocks, you know, always had an interest in business news. You see them talking about the market went up, these stocks went up. You always say them see this company made a big profit. So... I was like, what are stocks or whatever? So when I, in 2016, I was offered an internship at TPD Co. Mm -hmm. And I got my first summer job. I got my paychecks. I took that money off of my brokerage accounts. And wow. every day, I would take this book, the JCs I get to the securities market, yeah. and I would educate myself through the basics. Of what, of what it means and what it means. The fees, what securities actually mean, bidding, selling, yeah. opening and closing the market. Wow. So, you know, those critical things that people scoff at sometimes. And yeah. as I got m older, I was actually introduced to a <laughs> trader. <laughs> David says him get older, David, you still a little pick me. All right. <laughs> and you were introduced to a trader? Well, you have investors and you have traders. Investors right. look long-term, traders look short-term. Ah. So. You, met a, so you, you got hooked up with a trader and then things happen. Um, it may seem simple to you now. And I think that's part of wh why people are so shy because they think stocks, and you said it, you see all the graphs and the lines and the colors, and you say, oh my God, what is all of this? Is it hard to understand? Well, it can be hard based on your perception, yeah. but nothing that you do is not necessarily hard. It's mm -hmm. just the way you perceive it. So on Twitter on Sunday, I took Honey Bun's uh, annual report, and I went through the financials from the balance sheet down to the cash flow, and I explained step by step what this means mm -hmm. and people actually said it's what I'm looking for and I'm like thank you so much you know because they're saying they are so scared and understand I'm like I am here and I'll get opportunity to explain these things no but nobody use your door you're no there. no don't it's worry I'm, I'm, I'm very conscious I'm yes. very conscious so so talk to me now about how this helped you through university well in my first year I caught some difficulties yes. so in the first semester I had a back injury and then when the exam time came around Sinus issues came upon me, mm -hmm. so I didn't do so well in the first and second semesters. Mm -hmm. So I attended summer school. I didn't want to lay any more weight onto my mother, so I had to do the initiative to reduce my position and cover the fees for the summer school and my miscellaneous fees. Wow, mom must be very proud. Well, initially she chastised me for opening <laughs> my account, but she grew to the idea when she saw what was going on, who mm -hmm. I was meeting, and those who are so interested, even our colleagues, she yeah. was shocked. Yeah. So because you pull from it, but then you put in and you know when to pull out and when you never left yourself. No, I never left myself overexposed mm -hmm. or exposed to that position where I would incur to a particular loss. Yes. You're pursuing applied chemistry. Yes. Um, any change of thought of well, now this stock thing look nice. I might have got to finance instead. No, no, not at all. Not at all. I tell people that science built me. Yeah. Coming from high school, I, okay, the last time I did a business course was in third form, a subject called business basics. Mm -hmm. Since then, I have not gone to a business class. Everything else has been self-taught. Mm -hmm. Even at university, there's a course called financial management. Mm -hmm. Last semester, my colleagues had an assignment, and I assisted them. And even before the assignment was submitted, I'm like, send me your assignment, let me just review it. And there were several errors. I have correct it, and when they got the result back, it was a 96%. Wow. So you have a natural affinity for business and for... I wonder if Nigel Clark is looking and seeing this. Yeah, I know him I actually. Know. You know him actually. Wonderful. I knew him before he became the finance minister. Yes. I knew him through chess because that's a game I actually play as well. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Grant. Yes. I know. So chess, applied science, and finance. I know you're a big stock market man. I'm not necessarily a big stock market man. <laughs> I'm just building my own portfolio. portfolio. And you know... I also try and carry my colleagues to the AGMs, and general meetings, because mm -hmm. that's the best place to meet corporate Jamaica and to learn. Yeah. That's where I actually go to school. At, at AGMs? I'm being serious. <laughs> I, when I go to a surgical AGM, I learn about insurance. Mm -hmm. When I go to a Kingston property, I learn about real estate. I go to Creamy, and I learn about 
the products they use to create some of their ice creams. They, they and, and, and does knowing about the product and the process help you as far as investing is concerned because you have a better idea of, of how it works? You have to understand what you're investing in because even though some people are going to say, why am I going to invest in this company and this, this product? You mm -hmm. have to remember, a downturn can happen. Yeah. There can be a shift in the market. And that's a part of evaluating a company where you're going to buy it. The mm -hmm. balance sheet and the financials are good and everything, but if you don't understand the underlying product, you're putting yourself at a big risk. Mm -hmm. um, people who are watching, including the millennials, will say, but, but, but investing in stocks is for people who have money, which is, which is why a lot of people don't think about it. They think if you have to invest, it has to be a big lump sum. No, some brokerage firms have a high capital open amount, and those are what you call institutional firms. For institutional investors, mm -hmm. those already have capital. Most brokerage firms have open amount, open amount is under $25,000. Mm -hmm. And when I actually started, the first company I bought, Sajikor, I spent $9,000. $9,000 And Sajikor. it's basically worth double that right now. Mm -hmm. You can call it almost two years, two, yeah. three years. And that doesn't include dividends, the mm -hmm. profits the company pays out to shareholders. Nice. I'm so proud of you. Um, how old are you? I'm 21. 21 years old and so focused. I tell somebody yesterday, you know, that I'm finding our young men are extremely focused. I'm um, about future, about career, about making sure they, they make the right moves. And you're a fine example of that, David. I'm thankful for that. And I'm glad that everybody has taken the note of my example to, you know, say, I'm going to open my account. I'm going to become more fiscally responsible because I tell people that if you are going to take the long walk to your journey, mm -hmm. When are you going to start? Now is the time. It is, I tell people some say it's too late. So I'm like, no, it's never too late to invest. But if you're going to invest... Do it now. And don't necessarily on the broker all the time. Mm -hmm. Teach yourself. Because I tell people, I'm not training account. I'm not training business. I'm not training many things. But I go to AJMs. I take the internet. I will learn. I will take the time. Because if I don't know how to understand something, it will not benefit me in the long run. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I encourage people. Take the time, read, and you will see the benefits later on. Nice. You're an inspiration. It was awesome to meet you. And thank, thank you. you so much for coming on to Smile Jamaica and sharing that story. Thank you very much. All right. Next time when you see me, David, I'm going to make me rich. <laughs> don't worry. When, when, I'm, when I'm licensed, when I'm licensed, when he's that's the key thing. If you're not see me, you know what happened. Imagine that, putting himself through university um, by, by learning about stocks. J Jamaica Stock Exchange is your young ambassador right here, inspiring David Rose, thank you so much. We're going to switch lanes. Um, our next topic is, is, is not such a bright one. We're looking at sexual abuse and the challenges um, faced by victims and by hospitals in responding to abuse in our society when we return from this break. <laughs> 